Document sort of the first things I get up to in the morning. So it's, it's just about seven, eight. Oh man, had a good deep sleep, and uh, yeah, first thing in the morning, heater on, get up, heater on, and let's try and get out of this duvet. This big boy here. Alright, we're gonna open the magic flap. Get a bit of air into this archaic bit of heating. But once once that gets going, this chucks out the heat. Put that on, and that's the heat just for sort of quick heat. Then over to this one, crank that one round, whack that on. This is the this isn't as strong, so once this one's up to heat, this is the one I use. Leave that on. Put the kettle kettle over on here, because that'll be that'll probably do my second cup of tea and my vitamin C pill and then God, it's cold cold morning and into, the, into the kitchen check there's water in there there is a bit harder with a camera in my hand oh, I wouldn't usually tip water all over myself either because this is the easiest way of doing it. Just have um have a load of bottled water. And you know it's not that cold, that's that's frozen. Otherwise that would be in the fridge to stop it from freezing overnight. And then I usually just while that's boiling I just go and have a look. Oh god. Good sleep. Get such good deep sleep so I mean, listen, just, just, just stand still for a second, just listen. Silence. Come on, here. And then, yeah, I usually just pop out. Now, I know today's going to be silent. Yeah, there we go. Front door. Um, and this is the last weekend. No, this is the last Friday I'm going to be here, so... This is the end of March. Look at it. Brilliant. Uh, wow. Yeah, not not bad amount of snow today. So that's probably a good gauge there. Look. What are we talking, what are we talking about? Good finger full, isn't it? The snow. So. Brilliant, man. In for a good day. So I'll just let the let the kettle boil, and then I'll make a cup of tea. sort of systems in place really. Basic plans. Right, let's just slide back in here. Oh man, see now that's where you get on with the heat straight away. Above the heat I got my clothes dry, but straight away look, this room is lovely and warm. I'm only in this room. I don't know, about a week, because I was in the back room. And I moved in here because it 
we're supposedly getting warm, but I'm still, <laughs> still rocking two heaters in the morning. And uh, yeah, the other thing I didn't show a minute ago, when I came back in, put the Katatsu on. The old Katatsu with the crazy illegal, well, illegal over here, but illegal back home flex. And that heats this under under here, under this table, there's a heater, which is why it's got a duvet around it. I push the chair in at the end of the evening. So that the chair with all the cushion and the cover there is nice and warm. Then all I have to do is just pull this baby out. I do love the Katatsu, so that's quite good. My first three nights here, I said spent under the Katatsu, which is not good. Um, people tell you it dries your skin out. But oh great. So there we go, so, the uh, Katatsu, I've got my Katatsu on, two heaters on, boots, boots drying out there, well not drying out, warming up, they're dry, because um, today, I keep saying it this season, but I'm sure today is the last fresh snow day, um, I thought it was more than over a week ago, or more than that, but yeah, so we've got fresh snow, so get my... Uh, Get my breakfast down me. Steaming away here, all looking good. Get that down me in the coffee. And then, once I finish that, the kettle there will be boiling. I'll have another coffee while I'm getting putting boots on and gear. And then head up to the hill. It seems to be the standard morning of, that's evolved while I've been here. Right, just made my next coffee. Breakfast finished, and time for. Um, vitamins, got a sort of a knee oil pill I'm calling it, and then a multivitamin. And I've stopped taking the vitamin D at the minute because I think I've got enough vitamin D in me. And then this is like a Boots Immune Support Vitamin C. I reckon this is one of the reasons to touch something that's good that I haven't had a cold or a cough this winter. Plus, I haven't been around young kids, students with every cold and ailment under the sun, which makes a big difference. But this has definitely kept my immune system up. So that's the kettle that's boiled up. Just put that to the side of that heater now. And that just keeps it ticking over. And a bit mentally goes away. drinking that in the Early on in January here, January and February, early February, I was having lots of Mika Mikans and Satsumas. They were seasonal. But this month, March, they got really expensive, so I've stopped doing that. So I'm having that and the vitamin C thing, so my vitamin C levels have been right up there, which is good. So yeah, have this, and then... Uh, Get my gear, get my gear on. I think while I'm drinking the coffee. One thing I have been really careful about this season is whenever I'm out anywhere, have this in my pocket. So this is my jacket for when I get out of town, and that's my snowboard jacket. But this, always have this in my pocket. It's got my passport, it's got my travel insurance, and it's got my international driver's license. Um, and it's essential to have that on you. Um, I remember one one year a friend of mine had some serious shoulder problems and the way of dealing with that without his insurance on his, on his person, he had it, he was insured but he didn't have his insurance on his person over in his hour was, well, was a pretty shitty Christmas day that. <coughs> um, so yeah, really, really important. I remember to do that. Um, if I'm going out snowboarding, just always have your passport and insurance on you. It's, it's essential. Already, already to go. Another reason I like to go to the hill is because of this. I must confess, I do not. This is the this is the facilities here. The lovely toilet facilities. 
that stinks this already smells in here pretty bad we head in here to her majesty's pleasure here we have a drop let's get let's get this one up boom there we go drop loo um just drop us down into a void of smelly shit and it stinks in here and i have used that toilet i think three times because every morning get, get my shit together get up I use the gondola toilet. <laughs> right, let's get it going. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much every every morning. I use the Kazi up there. It's great. Right. Gloves go in there. Got some snacks in here. That. Wow. Snowboard. Oh, Jesus. This is the end of March. Well, I need to remember this. End of March. Look at it. Jesus. Look at the Wow, it's still coming down. Oh, when I get up to the sky, I get my sunglasses on. I can barely open my eyes. It's so bright. Look at the car. Good amount of snow on it. Um, on a usual day, I'd be a little bit more organised, like my snowboard would be in the car. Um, notice the security, high security here. Key in the ignition car open. Um, another very good point about living in Japan is that it's pretty safe. Plus to be fair, this car is going to the scrappers at the end of next week. So all she's got to do oh, is start. Does. There you go, see? Good. Good little tip, winter tip. I always turn my car off and have the windscreen wipers vertical because then when you get out here and you have to turn it on, the snow, you know, if they're down here, the weight of the snow means they don't work and they freeze to the windscreen. Whereas if they're up here, nine times out of ten they don't freeze to the windscreen. And then on top of that, they just push the snow down, which is good. Right, let's just do a bit, quick bit of clearing. I'm not too bothered, I only drive about 400 metres. Well, not no, more than that. Drive. I drive more than that. Oh, heavy snow. She be heavy snow. So, this is my very expensive car cleaning tool. I got it from the. found it in the porch down there. Um, it's a shoehorn by the looks of it. Old shoehorn. Um, don't get me wrong, you can buy proper stuff. What, 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 wow, this is, I can't believe this. This is, uh, I can't believe this. This is uh, March. I mean, the end of March. It's pretty, pretty special, really. Right, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's get up. Let's get up to the hill. <laughs> well, this has to be the most qu quietest powder day so far. I'm looking forward to it. Well, and there we are. Um, car. I dropped the car just over there in the car park. I'm second. I was the second car here. I mean, what a quiet day. Um, I mean, it's fr Friday, so it's a work day. But wow, so quiet. What's the big car park saying? Well, over there, most of that uh, will be workers' cars. These few at the front here will be punters. But yeah. So yeah, I'm <laughs> all seasons I haven't done this. I've been the first. But I've been here before it's open plenty of times. But today, I'm actually the first 
on the gondola. I've been like the second, third, fourth many times, but never actually the first this season. So first on the gondola for what has, has got to be the last snowfall of the, of the season. It's, I can't think what date it is, but anyway, it's March 20 something, 23rd, 4th, something like that. Friday. And yeah, it's just. Anyway, get, hopefully get a decent morning here and then, then get going. So, yeah, that's mine. It's pretty much been most mornings while I've been out here, that routine. You know, it's changed a little bit the last two weeks, because of, or last week really, because I changed room. And this will put a different dynamic to it, but. I changed room ironically because I thought it was, you know, pretty much the winter was over and it was warm. So I changed into that bigger room because it's, it catches the sun, catches more of the sun um, and warms up earlier. But anyway, so yeah, we'll see what today brings.